We've had some uh, customer complaints. Don't you touch your card. I'm supposed to change. I'll get left behind. Are you going to be training me today? Oh, that's what I hear. OK. And we're going to check the racks. <laughs> you don't need, no, no. Boring. I would get in so much trouble just because I'd be so bored. You suck at dealing. That's nice, nice, man. Let her go. To no, she sucks. <laughs> Bitch, what did I say? Right, that's enough. You're done. Las Vegas. It'll make you richer than your wildest dreams. Then take it all away in the blink of an eye. And the staff of the legendary Binion's Casino has seen it all. They work in a city where anything goes. And each new day, you must expect the unexpected. But tonight, for the first time, what happens in Vegas won't be staying there. From the street, Binion's is all about the bright lights, noise, glamour, and mayhem. Deep in the heart of the casino is where the big money changes hands. Here, gambling is a serious business. Wait. Meet Carrie, Wait. casino supervisor and 40-year veteran of yep. Vegas. That's all you can do. And I started out as a go-go dancer a couple of shows with uh, Sammy Davis Jr. and back up for uh, the Righteous Brothers. I've been at Binion's for five and a half years. I've always been an independent woman. I don't want anybody telling me what to do. Don't you touch your cards. OK, now you can touch the cards. Now! When Carrie first began, dealers weren't there to entertain. 30 years ago or so when I was a dealer, you weren't supposed to have a good time with the players. You weren't supposed to do anything but be a robot, and the, the famous phrase was dummy up and deal. Times have changed. Today, Binion's competes with the mega casinos on the strip and constantly looks for new ways to draw in the crowds. I'll help you if you help me. Cowgirl Jana represents the new generation of dealers. <laughs> Thank you. Don't play with me. You guys aren't man enough. Old school or new school, Binion's has to bring in all types of customers to survive. As my father used to tell me years ago, you, you never get a second chance to make a first impression. Sir, you have to use one hand on the cards. But sometimes Carrie can be a bit too heavy handed. Sir, I told you, you cannot play the dollar without playing the five here to qualify for the bonus. I'm the poor. I only want to play one dollar. Then you can play. Why not? No, 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 no. No, you cannot do that. You need some more money. I haven't got any more. Then we're done. She yelled at me, and I didn't feel that this was right because I just wanted to play with the last $2 I had. But she didn't allow me to do it. I think I will not return to this casino because this is not the way to treat customers. We've had some uh, customer complaints, which can't be tolerated. It's, uh, you know, some people are unhappy with the way they were treated. Guest service standards aren't where we need them to be. Guest service is number one. I don't care what your training is. I don't care what we did in the past or whatever. This is the new direction. This is the way we're gonna, we're gonna approach things. <laughs> At the front of the casino, Jana has been keeping the customers happy for three years. Jan is a beautiful person to work with. High five and laughing, joking with the players. She's just what we want. Las Vegas is a roller coaster. There are loops and turns and drops. You never know what you're gonna fall into, but you end up having the time of your life. Jan is a slick operator, keeping the money flowing and the cards in play while entertaining the customers. She also gives a lot of support to the new girls. You want to make sure you keep your deck up because you don't want the face of the card showing to the players. In Jana, Glenn sees management potential. What's going on? Oh, just shadowing. Just How are you? Some newbies. She just came from poker, remember? Right, right. Yeah. Oh, OK, so you're just trying to help her out now? Yeah. What would you think about becoming a supervisor? I never thought about it, but that would be cool. Oh, I'm always up for new things. Cool. All right, thank you, Glenn. Right. Cool, no problem. The next step from a dealer is, is a casino supervisor. You see some people that you think might make uh, 
a good supervisor someday, and, and the Cowgirls are certainly welcome to move into that position when they become available. But is Jana ready for a big career move? I don't know the extent of the job. I just see what I see, and honestly, I think they just bull it all day. Away from the hustle of the casino floor, a meeting of a different kind is taking place. A pool. Security is concerned. All right, guys, real quick. Uh, in the next couple of days, management has authorized the use of the second floor for a hypnotist meeting convention. So I just want to bring it to you guys' attention so you know. We don't know who they are. I don't know what they're capable of doing. Move the way. It's more. <laughs> we all think we're strong-minded until we're caught out there in the West Casino with your gun belt around your ankles and you're dumping your rounds in the ceiling, collecting like a chicken, and guess what? You've been hypnotized. Well, from what I understand, there are people that are good enough that they can hypnotize you just by looking at you. They can sit there and talk to you and put you under trance. It can happen to anybody. So just make sure we're on top of it, walk your beats, and be visible and be vigilant. All right, nothing else. Let's get out there and get on the floor, guys. Well, the reason I informed everybody about these hypnotists coming in is, one, it's information that has to be passed from shift to shift so everybody knows about it. And two, just from what I know and what I've seen uh, about hypnotists, you know, I don't want us to become a victim of, of what they do. So it, it's better that everybody knows about it so we can be on the lookout for these folks. Make sure when you're out there, too, you're not by the cage, hanging out, waving at the girls. I don't want to see you out there screwing around. You know, you and, you and Phil need to be a little bit more proactive with your duties. Just be wary, right? I don't want to see you guys out there getting hypnotized, and I see you up on the mezzanine level with a pickle in your ass, OK? <laughs> OK. You understand? That's not going to happen. Uh, who do you want to hypnotize? You As predicted, hypnotize in the casino, the hypnotists are already causing trouble with Binion's guests. And just relax. Sitting on down, you're in a safe place. Ready to sit down. Very good. All the way down. And if you like, you could even lie down as if you were on the beach. And every now and again, a balmy breeze comes by. You can actually fall asleep instantly. That's relaxed. I got you. Just relax. Totally relax. Officers Juan and Scott are not impressed. Let's go. Ready? Follow my lead. Just relax now. A little more mellow than David is. Excuse me. What do we got going on here? Hey, uh, no, we're just. Uh, What's going on? This is guy. This oh, guy. Okay. Sound, no, no, he's, he's fine. Uh, you need medical? Wonderful. A lot of times in hypnosis. Uh, what do you mean hypnosis? Uh, we're doing hypnosis hey, on me. It's a, good to meet you. Good to meet you. A lot of times we ignore reality and just do what we want to do because we're like the honey badger. We take what we want. You're, like not, the, you're, not, you're not paying attention to me. We have a situation sorry. here. I have a, I have a guest on the floor. We have a situation. Well, yeah, yeah. I have a guest on the floor. If you're on the floor, would you want me to come over and see how you're doing? Well, I don't know. If I was uh, I mean, you know, I a would. boy on boy action, maybe I would. Well, you know, boy on boy, we can take you outside and show you boy on boy. I don't know because sometimes, you know, um, I don't know. I'm, I'm resistant to that. I'm resistant to authority. And in fact, the honey badger takes what he wants. Finally, security has had enough. It's time to say goodbye to the honey badger. All right, let's see here. How you like this dirt nap? Huh? And little dirt nap. Let's, let's take you right outside and see how your dirt nap is. What am I going to have for dessert when I wake up? It looked like it was going to get combative, so I was just trying to protect you and our guests. OK, uh, I told the guests that they could come back in a couple of hours. OK. So in a couple of hours, uh, we might see them again in here. OK. But if they act up again, uh, then we'll have to talk to management about uh, getting them off our property. OK. And they can stay somewhere else. OK. There's plenty of other casinos where they can stay. OK. All right. So the next time, it's not Manhattan with the guy. OK. Because they can come back and haunt us. OK. All right. We got it. Make sure you spread them so you know you're getting three cards back. While Carrie trains a new cowgirl, she's trying hard to tame her wicked ways. Got him digging. You put up with a lot more than these kids do nowadays. I mean, they got it pretty easy. When I first got in the business, I could tell you a few war stories. And I mean war stories. Always pay back to front so you're not going over there over their checks. But Carrie's wicked ways. Uh, no, no, you're going over the money. Aren't so easy to leave behind. Megan, good luck, guys. Thank you. After only five minutes, the session's over, and the new girl dismissed. I've explained these procedures to you time and time again, so you have to start doing them, you know? I can't keep coming back to the same thing all the time. So you have to get with it, and you have to do them. Well, I tried my best. There's a lot to remember. I think Carrie could have waited until I was done dealing on the game, and then she could politely take me to the side and tell me instead of doing it in front of other people. Other pit bosses sometimes are a little more gentle, 
and they understand that people make mistakes and they're a little more corrective in a polite way of doing it. It's not that much to remember because everything has to be neat. That's all you have to remember is being neat and being professional. Pit boss Jim doesn't like Carrie's style. You're a little hard on him for some reason. I said, well, yeah. Go to your own section. <laughs> go to your own section. <laughs> this, is Mark? Our, this is our casino. Will you tell him to go to his own section? How long have y'all been together now? Oh, Mary. Uh, he'd be dead by now. You want to be my third ex-wife? <laughs> Jim and I kibitz a lot. I don't pay any attention to him. I've been in the business longer than him, so I don't pay no attention to him. Ignoring management. Carrie continues to do things her way. Glenn is giving cowgirl Jana a chance to be a supervisor. Today, she'll shadow pit boss Jim. Are you training me today? Oh, that's what I hear. OK. Well, it's not as easy as it looks. You have a lot of responsibilities. Oh, we're going to check the racks. You don't need, no, no, the racks on the table. I like the fact that Jana is her own person. She just needs a little bit of guiding influence, I think. She pushes the envelope, and I, I don't mind people that do that. You save it, add new player, gives you a number. We're going to look at this table and see how the players are doing, how the table is doing. you got to maintain the bank and make sure you have enough chips. So we'll check the count here. This is very important that you maintain it. Yeah. A supervisor monitors up to eight tables, watches over the casino's money, motivates dealers, settles disputes, and places a special emphasis on the casino's motto, the customer is king. Are you single? It doesn't take much for Jana's attention to drift. OK, smell cheese. OK, we cannot have phones. That's for my mom. Your mom? Yeah. Oh, my god. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five. OK, one thing you can't do, even while you're training, is text. It is a very responsible job. Several games to watch, several deals to watch. You've got multiple amount of players to watch. I want to try and see what it takes to move up and see if, see if I really want it, I guess. Don't you touch your cart. Veteran supervisor Carrie is under scrutiny after a number of complaints about her style. Hi, Dan. How are you? Management is forced to step in. Miss Carrie, how are you doing? Doing you, fine. How are you? You doing all right? I'm going to get Carlos to uh, come over and take the pen. Let's go visit a little bit, all right? If any employee continually rubs people the wrong way, we take the, the, the necessary disciplinary steps and then a suspension pending investigation. And myself and the HR director will take a look at that. All right, Miss Carey, remember the old days? Remember when we was both broke in or something? It was just, you know, the, the, the business was so different. You know, we had the, the hardcore, we had the people that would not kick us in the shin on the dealing side of it or something. Remember those days? Well, those days are a little different now. It seems like dealers now, it seems like what they want now is more customer service. It's kind of more of a, a, a carnival atmosphere than it was just real strictly business. Follow me a little bit? Or? I follow exactly what you're saying, but I think there has to be a balance of both. You know, you still have to have some control and make sure that procedures and and game protection and all that is correct, and still yet be friendly with the customers. So you have to have a balance between the two. You can't just all be all happy and smiley and let everything else go to. Carrie, what I'm asking you to do is just kind of, uh, uh, not like the old days, it's just, it's just not be so hard on them. You just can't, you, you, just, you just can't come down on them in that hard. Zadinia, can you do it? In a lot of ways, the old ways were really good because you learned the right way. These kids aren't learning the right way because you're too soft with them, and therefore they go, oh, OK, yeah, yeah. And then they turn around and do it, whatever they're doing, and you don't like it. Mm. I don't think either one of us have a choice. I think that's the direction it's going in, and that's the direction it's going to be. No choice. Not really. Does that mean an OK, or does that mean you're thinking about it? 
So you think that I need to change? Yes. From everything I've learned, from everything that I am. I'll get left behind. What does it do? And that's up to you. The confrontation with Ron surely upset me a little bit. If somebody doesn't like the way you do something, you know, they can get rid of you and they've got somebody else and right behind you. He was trying to make a point, and he made it. All right, are we done? Yeah, we're done. Carrie has to make a choice. Either she changes or the decision will be made for her. I think it's his place to direct me as far as my job performance, but I don't think it's his place to tell me to be a different person, because I am who I am. Look at this table and see how the players are doing. After shadowing Jim, trainee Jana steps out as a supervisor for the first time. Suck it, deal. Worst deal. Right away, she has to deal with an angry customer. He's taking out his losing streak on Cowgirl Allegra. 18. Language. There is a degree of tolerance as far as what people do and what we not allow them to do loud abusive language, won't be tolerated. I'm into cowgirls. Maybe you should be more into your girlfriend. I love my girlfriend. I'm, I'm, I'm... Maybe you should show it. Hey, there's nothing wrong with her. You. Yeah. It'd be a little nicer. You're at my table. As a supervisor, Jana keeps her cool. People are going to get upset, and Allegra knows that. You know, she's. this isn't the first time it's happened. It's not going to be the last. Don't tell me I've had enough. I think you should give me another one. So do you just always let him talk to you like this? Hey, who is she to you? Honestly, who the f is she to you? The drunk gambler is coming close to Binion's tolerance level. Jana holds tight. You are terrible. Oh, and terrible. You can, and you this can, is the worst I've ever oh, played. Oh, no, 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 no. And you, Look, you can do a better back job? Back up. You suck. Unable to control an aggressive customer, trainee supervisor Jana has left Allegra to fend for herself. I can't physically make a guy leave. Instead, she hands him a pamphlet on anger management. It says, this casino sucks. Bitch, what did I say? All right, that's enough. You're done. Don't tell any yeah. hands after this. Okay. okay. He was refusing to leave, so we had to have, have Mark come in, the shift manager. Let's go. No, hell no, I ain't going nowhere. I ain't going until I hear the, the, the owner of Binion's, I ain't going nowhere. Hey, what's going on? Oh, yeah, first off, yeah. first off, we can't disrespect the dealers, okay? She sucks. Hey, well, I'm the guy that can have you exported out of here right now. Where's the security? You have no action. Jana's inability to defuse the situation is a disappointment to management. Knowing Janice's personality and the way she is, she doesn't look, usually doesn't take any off of anybody. And she kind of backed down and had to call for help. And, I, and, you know, I would like to have seen her be able to step up and handle that a little bit better. Time to go somewhere else. There you go. This sucks. You suck. I'm out of here. I ain't playing it no more. Y'all never see me again. Don't you touch your card. OK, now you can touch the cards. Now! Binion's has given Carrie an ultimatum. Improve her customer service. Then we're done. Or else. So you think that I need to change? Or get left behind. I imagine she has some uh, challenges inside her uh, trying to adapt to the new philosophy. So Ron encourages Carrie to reveal her softer side. Well, I'll tell you what, I've got it all set up for you. On uh, 35 over here, the ladies, I'm telling you, I got them primed for you. All you got to do is go in there and there for the kill. You're having a great time and go in there and show your charm. Can you do this? Can I do it? Never mind. It's a bad question. Yes, you can. I know. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. She's worth the effort. She's worth the effort to try to bring her around as far as the customer service aspect of it because of her knowledge. Where do you ladies stand? Caesars. Caesars? Yes. Whoa. I don't know about that. Woo! That's where the fun is, though. Under a lot of pressure, Carrie does what she's told. 
She'll either adapt to it or she won't. There's no doubt about that. I am good at what I do. After one day of training, Jana is ready for a drink. What is this? Pink lemonade. Do you want some? It's not pink lemonade. I could smell it from here. If you want to come pink back lemonade. here, if you want to come back here and learn some more, I'll be happy to teach you. But as of now, I think you ought to just stick to dealing. With the cowgirls. With the cowgirls. I'm young. I want to have fun. I live in Las Vegas, you know. Bye. All right. See you soon. Jana's uh, position to be a supervisor will uh, never come about. <laughs> she, I don't think she'd like it. I think she'd be bored from it, and it's totally different than uh, dealing. Boring. I would get in so much trouble just because I'd be so bored. Until I'm ready to move up for real. There's no way. Thank you. You're doing great. Thank you. All right. Thank you. But Carrie's decided to embrace the attitude adjustment. She'll leave when she's ready. But I'm 64, you know. When I turn 70, I'll retire. Okay? I'm not retiring before then. <laughs> and Jana, she gets back to her usual role, partying with the cowgirls. Me? No. No. 